Hello. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a calendar in Word. You're going to learn how to create calendars in Word like a pro. Microsoft Word has a large choice of calendar templates that are available to enable you to stay organized. The templates can be modified to fit your diverse needs as well. The options available include printed single page calendars, monthly calendars, academic calendars, monthly and weekly planning calendars, just to name a few. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to access them, set them up, modify them, print them, and also pin them so they're easily accessible to you. Let's go ahead and get started. Now to access the templates and search for the calendar that you want to use, we need to go to the backstage. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up and we're going to click File. This is going to take us to the backstage. And once we're here, we're going to click New. This is going to take us out so we can create a new document. And from here, we're going to come down, make sure we have our office selected, and we're going to search for a template online. Once I click within the search box, I'm going to type in calendar. Once I hit enter, it's going to run my search. And now I've got the calendars that are available. And as you can see from here, we've got snapshot calendars. Um, we've got our academic calendars, lesson plan calendars, yearly calendars, banner calendars, different types of calendars, depending on what we're actually looking for. Okay, so we're going to start the first one and we're just going to do a snapshot calendar. So I'm going to click on snapshot calendar. It's going to pop it up so I can get a better view of it. And I can go ahead and create it from here. And it's also going to explain a little bit about it. So this is an any year snapshot calendar template that we can personalize with different photo on here if we want to. I'm going to go ahead and click the create box. So it takes me out so I can actually create the calendar. And from here, it gives me a pop-up dialog box where I can choose what month I want to create. So I'm going to go ahead and do it for August of 2022. Click OK. And you can see the month up here changed to August. Once we do that, it gives us a notification. You can show different dates, go to the calendar tab and choose select new date or press shift, alt, enter to choose our date. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Once we do that, if we come up and look at our tabs, we've got our calendar tab. This is a contextual tab that just pops up because we are actually working within this calendar. So I could come down here and click on to select a new date, or I can also change the theme if I don't like the coloring of it. I want to get something a little bit more colorful. I can change that. I can change the type of font that's used as well. My theme. You can see as I'm scrolling through here, it's showing me what it will look like on there as well. Okay, we'll stick with what we have. I can come in here and set up a subtitle, a title, click over here, right click on my picture, and I can paste a new picture here as well if I wanna change that. And you can see it's got the information. I could come in and start typing information, or if I prefer, I can just print this out and save it. Now you'll notice this is set up in a table format. So if I start typing within here, I can add my information. File, print, and I can go ahead and print out my calendar. I can do a save as and save this out on my system as well if I prefer to do that. Whatever I need to do with it. Let's go ahead and do another calendar. Again, remember, always go to the backstage, click File. We're doing a new document, and we're doing a calendar. Takes me out so I can see all the different calendars that are out here. Let's scroll down. Let's go ahead and do a family photo calendar. Again, once I click on it, it's going to bring it up and show me information about it. I click the Create button, choose the year I want to do, and I can tell it what week it starts with. And so that means if I tell it, it I want it to start with Monday instead of Sunday, and say OK, you can see that it starts with Monday instead of Sunday as the first day of the week. And again, I can come out here and I can choose a new date. I can change my... Um, pictures, change my theme, whatever I want to do with my calendar. Okay. Another thing that I want to show you with this, if we go back to the backstage and do our file new. 
if we use the calendar often, now before I get into that, I wanna show you as I'm doing the calendars, you can see they're coming up on my new because they were frequently accessed. Now, as you're working within Word and you're doing more and more documents and things like that, this list will change. However, if there's something on here that you wanna stay on the list at the top, for instance, if I wanna keep my snapshot calendar so that I can come out and do a new month every month, I can click on my push pin. When I click on the push pin, what it does is it pins it to my list so that when I come out each time, no matter how many new templates I've done and so forth, it's always going to be on the list here so I can see it. So I don't have to come down and do a search for it. When I'm done with it, if I click on the push pin again, you can see while I've got it highlighted, it says unpin from list. When I do that, it unpins it so it adds it just to the recent list. So that is how you create calendars within Word. Go back to our document. Always remember, File, New. Once you click New, make sure you have Office selected and come down and do your search. Now, I typed in calendar each time so I could pull them all up. If there's a specific type of calendar you're looking for, say for instance, academic, you can type that specific search in and it'll bring up the templates that match that. So you don't have to do as a general search. You can get as specific as you want. Again, click on it. It brings up the pop-up so you can see exactly what it looks like, gives you a little bit of information about it. Click the Create button, fill in the information, click OK. Gives you a heads up about information about it. Click OK again. And then we've got our calendar contextual tab where we can come in and change um, the font, the date, themes, colors, and so forth with it. And then you're just saving it like a normal document and printing it out. If you're interested in learning how to print a blank calendar from Outlook, I'll include a link here for you. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like it. And if you want to see um, any new upcoming videos that I do, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you have any requests for videos you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you.